and gentlemen, the whole world, this is Shimshan Lashinsky welcoming you to the first ever Shimshan Lashinsky kebab tour. Basically, just explaining what kebab is, but we've got a lot going on. Is kebab just a Middle Eastern meatball or is there a lot more to it? We're going to find out. We've got to define our relationship with kebab. Is it just a Middle Eastern meatball or is it a whole spiritual experience? You're going to find out here. The first place we're going to go to is called Tzitzot, which is called meatballs. His fa father is a butcher and he himself has been in the business, meat business since he was born. He's always been there. So we're going to go through the back alleys of the market to find him. I hope I find the place. Are you ready to come for the challenge here, guys? Are you ready for the kebab crawl? Are you ready for it? Okay, the kebab heroes. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Let's go. The reason why we started here was because Mayor has been in the meat game for so long. He knows the texture of combining um, beef with a certain amount of fat. And it was fresh meat. Um, his, his father is a butcher, his grandfather is a butcher. So it was a delicious uh, combination. Of course, we just had a sample. We could sit here all day and eat a few of these. But we've got the next stop to go. So I would give him 8 out of 10. למעשה זה שילוב מאוד מאוד מדויק בין שומן, אחוזי שומן מאוד מאוד מדויקים ובשר באיכות מאוד גבוהה. כשיש לנו בשר באיכות מאוד גבוהה וכמות שומן טרי, 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 באיכות מאוד מדויקת, זה השילוב המנצח. כן תבלינים, יותר תבלינים, פחות תבלינים, בעיניי זה פחות חשוב. מה שחשוב זה שלושה מרכיבים. ראשון זה איכות הבשר, שני זה איכות השומן ופריאות השומן. והדבר השלישי זה איזשהו שילוב של בצל, שהסוד הגדול בקציצה הזו זה שבבצל הזה למעשה אין הרבה נוזלים. It's the newest kebab places in, in Jerusalem. It just opened two weeks ago. It's run by twins. Um, they're following their dreams. Um, he's got a very good story about it. And it's doing quite well at the moment. So I think you'll be impressed what's going on here. Okay, this is a new place, it just opened two weeks ago. It's part of a chain, it's a franchise. Um, Nadav here, he used to work in welfare. He was cooking in a, a, a city called Beitar uh, for, for youth with problems. He loved cooking and he's decided to get into the business. So we're going to have Nadav, he's one of twins running the show. He's going to explain us his vision of what a good kebab is. And of course we're going to go in there into the meat. I'll just bring my t-shirt we're going to go into the, into the kitchen. And you're going to get the full show here. קודם כל טעים מאוד, כל הכבוד. תודה רבה. אתה רודף אחרי החלומות שלך. He's going after his dreams, this guy. He and his brother really wanted to stop in this place. It's very successful. Um, ma, what's the role of the tchina in kebab? Is tchina important for kebab? Is it important? Tchina in kebab is really important. The shilub is together, also the kebab and the tchina that is the same. It's the most important thing. לאט, כן, משם מאוד התחברתי לאוכל, התעניינתי מאוד באוכל, פתחתי, היה לי מקום לפני זה גם אוכל אמריקאי, פולבי, פאפרס, you know, באתי למחנה יהודה, שהוא אחד השווקים הגדולים בישראל, הוא נחשב היום, אפשר לומר, המיינסטרים של השוק, 
ומשם, ברוך השם, הגענו לקונספט המושלם הזה, שזה רשת עם שמונה סניפים, ואנחנו פה עובדים על כל דבר בדקדוק, וכדי שהלקוח יקבל את הארומה הטעימה, ויחזור עוד פעם לכאן. מה יש במיקס הצעדינים זה סודי? אה, הצעדינים זה קוקה קולה. My tie because it's all got kebab stains all over it. Yeah. Uh, you know, oh, this yeah, is part of the risks of the job, you know. Being a foodie and getting all my tie full of uh, kebab juice. Not easy. It's a, it's a difficult life, you know. It's, we have to do the best we can. So I really loved the Athena. I thought it was very pure tasting. It wasn't diluted with lemon juice or garlic or cumin or anything funky like that. It just had a really nice, nutty, natural taste and I really like that. When we're asked to think about the quintessential Middle Eastern food, the answer might just be kebab. Alongside hummus, it's one of the most famous foods that tourists, when they come to Israel, seek out. Kebabs have actually been around since the 14th century. The earliest recorded history of kebabs, probably goes back way before that, was uh, Turkish soldiers uh, using their swords to grill meat over an open fire, way, way back in the 14th century. Since then, a lot's happened in the world of kebabs, particularly from Turkey, kebabs spread to Europe in the 20th century, and doner kebabs, as anyone who's been to Germany knows, doner kebabs are now a huge thing. But what about kebabs in Israel? Shawarma is famous in Israel. How good are the kebabs here? Where is good and what's new on the local kebab scene? To figure out the answers to these questions and more, we uh, met up with a local Jerusalem food commentator and uh, Facebook poster, Shimshon Sam Lashinsky and a panel that he uh, pulled together and we're here to see what some of the interesting kebab places are like in Jerusalem. So this is the conclusion of the kebab tour. I was good, I heard of another five places but I think we took the three best out of them. Believe me, I've been to them all. The Masoch and Kebab. מסות. <laughs> אחוז שומן טובה. שלושים אחוז? אומרים לי שלושים אחוז זה הכי טוב. תראה, בגדול זה נע בין עשרים וחמישה לשלושים אחוז כן, וגם השומן צריך להיות איכותי. אתה יודע, יש כמה סוגים של שומן, גם פה אתה צריך להיות איכותי. אני חושב שאם אתה עושה את כל הדברים האלה ובאמת לש אותו כמו שצריך ומפרק ומחבר ביחד את כל השומן עם החלבון, אז יצא לך כבר בשיגור. We really got a diversity of kebabs tonight. We had sot, which was kind of like the old classic bare bones kebab. Then we had pita basar, the new trendy new place 
taking kebabs and like make, giving it a more personal flavor. And then we had mitzle, which I think really kind of gave it a modern, um, more like upscale. For me, I think Ksif Sot definitely takes the win. Um, it's the best kebab. It just really felt felt authentic, felt homey, and that, that takes takes the gold medal for me. Uh, the first place we went to had the atmosphere and the story were excellent, but even just talking about the meat, uh, he made something that was closer maybe to our rice, but uh, having the fat uh, in the bread, in the meat, uh, gave uh, a very, very strong, very rich taste, uh, which I really appreciated. It may have also helped that it was the first place we ate, so I ate at, but uh, I really appreciated it. And of course, the salads uh, tasted very fresh, uh, and they were made there, and that definitely uh, added quite a bit. Okay, guys, this is Shimshad Lashinsky. Um, thanks for joining us here. There's a lot more action. I, I post it in Facebook, Secret Jerusalem group, all the time. Um, I've also on the Shimshon Lashinsky fan club and um, the YouTube. You can find me as well. Lots of different lifestyle and food stories. And keep in touch and check me out.